This gun is so good. I'm a t dude straight up. I'm a talent main. I'm a talent main. Like I just I don't get it. This latest update was a massive one. It brought season one of ranked, brought Kestrel, a lot of changes to weapons and some rogues. But something that I find isn't too talked about yet is just how powerful the D3DI is now. That is going to be Fixer and Talon's DMR. When I say that sucker smacks, it smacks. So let's talk about that and what it can do to change the play of both Talon and Fixer. Taking a look at the gun itself before we get into seeing it in action, straight up 38 body damage when within that first range bracket. The fire rate is at 3.23, range is 34 meters before you see a drop off. And then of course the handling, not fantastic, not the worst. Mag size is strong, especially if you land those shots because they deal so much damage and the reload time is okay. So then you can crank it up a little bit. Mag size is going to go up. It's not even really necessary, in my opinion, given the damage that you can do. I mean, if it takes you 16 shots to kill somebody, you're probably whiffing a lot. Taking it up to the next level, it's going to get better accuracy and a reduced reticle bloom. And then tier three, that handling is really going to go up with that reduced recoil. So definitely not a bad idea to buff this sucker to the max, but... It is completely viable without leveling it up as well if you decide you need to get something else in his kit, which has plenty to grab. All right, so first things first, let's see what the damage is like straight up. As you can see, at close range, middle range, even somewhat long range, the damage is still very solid for those headshots. 58 up close. It's still pretty accurate, even with moving targets. Uh, you do have to slow down the shooting maybe just a little bit to try to stay completely accurate because it spreads a decent amount but it is a strong weapon as she's even body shots 38 damage at a decent range you're not going to get all the way across the map but 38 damage at a mediumish range to the body is an easy three tap potential and the fire rate isn't slow enough to really make that not seem too great i mean that damage at that fire rate is not bad the only time you're really going to run into any major issues is super up close because an smg could potentially still win that fight unless you can land that headshot or a double headshot but when it comes to ranged battles it is going to be great being able to take down players that are potentially on a phantom or a fixer who miss a sniper shot and in the time it takes them to get off a second you can double tap them to the head and a phantom goes down of course right away a fixer can get armor so it could stop that you could deal 116 depending on the range it is just absolutely absurd this gun is great for tapping heads over uh half balls as you can see right there absolutely amazing with that and again just the damage output and the speed at which you can do it makes this a very very powerful weapon the buffs that they gave it in terms of damage and fire rate are just absolutely absurd this weapon is a hidden gem in this game and i know that it got some recognition before with this buff i mean you're talking about an mxr from before to me it's got nothing on what this gun can do and I know none of these really bring that weapon into, for instance, what you can combine it with, whether that is the Talon Dart and knowing where somebody's at or forcing somebody away with a C4 that both Fixer and Talon have, or even the smoke from Fixer and his vision, allowing you to pick off targets very quickly at range without having to use the sniper rifle. I don't have any clips of that, but they are very important factors and things that can make this weapon even better. And there you have it. I know it's a short one, not too detailed, but I wanted to get the word out there. I tried this last night and ranked when 5-0 using Talon with the new D3DI, and it was amazing. I was popping heads left and right, taking down people in fights that, and a lot of the other situations I might not win because I was able to land that initial headshot or two, 58 damage to 116 in two shots. Absolutely insane. And I wanted to pass that on to you guys since you guys are always asking me what weapon should I use with this character, with that character, which weapons are the best well d3di now has to be near the top of the list with how powerful that it is and i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope it was helpful and you learned a little thing or two if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and you guys can always come talk to me about it if you feel the same or differently whether it's down in the comments or in my stream live at twitch.tv heartbreaker underscore tv thank you guys for watching and until next time be safe